What's up guys, today we're looking at one of the most unique models that Diamond C offers. That is the MVC or multi-vehicle carrier. The MVC serves really two main purposes. Number one, to haul all of your favorite toys, whether it's Jeeps or side-by-sides, ATVs, things like that to go have a little fun. The other purpose being commercial auto transport. We've got two behind me set up just slightly different. Let's go take a look at the differences. All right, so for the walkthrough, I'm gonna start with the shorter of the two, but first I wanna talk about a few of the similarities between the two trailers. The MVC is standard on all GVWRs with the engineered beam or engineered beam technology in the frame and in the neck. So we're talking about the MVC GN, which is the gooseneck version. Same trailer is available in bumper pool, but for the most part, I would say it's probably 90% the MVC is sold in the gooseneck because the length range is from 32 feet up to 44 feet. And so naturally uh, in those longer configurations, a gooseneck is favorable just for weight distribution and the way that it pulls. Uh, bumper pull would be a lot more tongue weight, even though the axle placement is slightly different, the bumper pull would be heavier tongue weight. So gooseneck is a little better for weight distribution. All gooseneck packages, I mean, it's kind of rhetorical, but with Diamond C come with the, the wide box, two jacks, never with one jack or a small storage area, just kind of a sin in our book. But this one is a 35 foot. So that's gonna be 35 foot from the back of the neck to the tail of the trailer. It is the 102 wide or max wide package. So you've got the full 102 wide bed including the small drive over fenders at the back or the bumps over the fit over the tires as far as driving over you have all of these tie down points the length of the trailer see these round holes to where that you can use your your round rod straps uh, or the hook straps that go over the tires those are along the path or the the wheelbase of the tires then you've also got stake pockets on the outside for tying down as well this one was configured in a triple seven or three seven K axles for a GVWR of 24,000 pounds total. These are actually torsion as well. So the MVC standard on all models, all GVWRs is a torsion ride, which gives you a smoother ride. It's very common or more common for auto applications when you're hauling toys and more delicate, you know, items as far as vehicles go. So you've got 35 foot torsion, there this one is standard single speed jacks it's got the spare up in the neck they did opt for the square load level or coupler it's pretty cool you see there's a standard round on the red one and then you have the square load leveler which is good because that means depending on how you have the trailer loaded if it's a little heavier in the front this time or it um, squats the truck a little bit more you can actually take the jack handle on top and you can raise and lower the front of the trailer to level it versus with the round style, you un unloosen your set bolts and have to just adjust the pin. So it's a little bit easier to level the load. When I, in the intro, when I talked about it being a um, more of a toy hauler, this 35 footer is set up more that way. Like I wouldn't be scared to hook up to this trailer with my F-250 and put side by sides and things on it. Now, if you're loading it to the maximum capacity, which is this trailer weighs, let's see, it's 24,000 GVWR, it weighs 6,800 pounds. So that is, I mean, you did the math, 20, what is that, 18, almost 17-ish thousand pounds worth of capacity on this trailer. So behind a three-quarter ton, questionable to loading it to that extent, but when you're talking about loading it with toys and things, just fine behind a three quarter ton or you go up to a one ton just fine. But the shorter length, I mean, you can get a couple of several side by sides on this trailer, toys, maybe you're putting a, you know, a, a small kind of work and, work and play type tractor on it, things like that. The shorter length is usually geared more toward that kind of recreational aspect, especially three sevens. The three seven K axles is slightly less as far as expense goes than say the 210, which is a 25K package. That's this one beside it. Three sevens are a little bit less. Uh, so you'll see that more in the recreation. And you can still, you can get this trailer with two sevens, you can get it with two eights, three sevens like shown here. And then we're gonna go over to the big boy and talk about it. So this red MVC is a 210. 
it is rated at 25,000 GVWR. And I say it is, it's a 40 footer. And then we also offer it up to a 44, but it is more of your like commercial auto transport type trailer because just the sheer length. I mean, definitely, yes, you can cross over and haul toys on this too. If you, if you have that many toys, you need to haul at one time, but it is more of a commercial uh, vehicle transport type trailer, which is cool. This one is similar in that it is the max width package. Again, it's 40 feet long, has a lot of the similar features with the tie down system The has the engineer beam frame and neck, just like the 35 footer. All MVCs have that. If I didn't already mention it, that engineer beam, you can see how it kind of contours, comes down and it sways back up. That's if you haven't watched other videos, that is where the, um, we put the metal where it counts the most, I guess is the sim easiest way to say it. The uh, competitors on the similar trailer, they're gonna use a big eight inch channel or 10 inch channel or eight inch or 10 inch or 12 inch I-beam. Super heavy, inefficient, takes a lot of your payload capacity out. Whereas with this one, we build the I-beam and we can make it as tall as it needs to be, the thickness that we need it to be to get the job done per the length of this trailer and the weight rating keeping the weight down this 40 foot trailer this one only weighs 7300 pounds so out of a 25k rating it's pretty substantial if you had i'd be willing to guess if you had the same identical trailer built out of heavy either beam or channel like the competitors do it's probably roughly a thousand pounds 800 thousand pounds heavier than what this trailer is this trailer would be that much lighter i should have said than than those other other uh, construction types so it is engineer beam technology so where it gets interesting we have two 10k axles on this one they're super single tens is what we call them two uh, 10,000 pound torsion lippard axles and they run a 235 17.5 regroupable tire which is where you get your super single the 10k axle over the years typically has a dual wheel and tire set up on it. So we have one tire in this case that rates high enough to take the place of two. And that way you can run just a super single, lets you have a wider frame. If you could imagine if you had duels on here, your frame would have to be narrower. So the super single is really cool. You got four tires on the ground, still have your 25,000 pound rating and gives you plenty of capacity for this length of trailer. I mean, you could definitely have you know, two full size pickups on this trailer. You could have three small cars, especially if you went out to a 44. Lots of possibilities for hauling com in a commercial application. You'll notice how wide between the tires too. It's something that's really cool about it. It's a 60 inch spread standard. Any tandem, any tandem MBC is a 60 inch spread. And you ask, well, why? What is the significance? We get back to that weight distribution conversation you pull this behind a one-ton truck and you need you know you're hot shotting this and you your first load is a you know a dually pickup and it's further to the front and then you got a lighter one in the back or whatnot that helps uh, take a lot of that stress off the front of, of the trailer and off of the tow vehicle because if you had those that front tire closer to the back one then you would actually be adding tongue weight. So that, that spread helps with weight distribution, much like what you've seen on semi-trailers running down the road for the last hundred years. They, most every one of them either has a spread or is able to be spread. It definitely helps with weight distribution. So you can see again, this one's about five feet longer than the, the other one. The tails of the trailers are very similar, standard with backup lights on them low profile nice sleek lights on both trailers they both have an eight and a eight and a half foot slide out ramp that's adjustable the width of the trailer really making it versatile as to what you can load i mean they'll come all the way together and you could load a small atv all the way to full width being able to load a sand rail or a jeep or a side by side that's nice and wide kind of gives you a good view right here as well of the one max width package so again, the MVC super unique trailer. It's available 32 all the way to 44, bumper pool, gooseneck, several different GVWR conversa uh, conversations, several different combinations. So, and again, the, the coolest thing is 
this is uh, pretty well unprecedented. I mean, for this, these links and full floors, 102 odd to be the, that light in between 6,700 and 7,300. You can, we built a 44 foot, like the red one, but 44 foot air rod, and it weighed like 80, 8,600 or 8,800, which is really cool. That's another thing that's unique about this that I'm aware of. There's not another manufacturer that offers this trailer in an air ride combination, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. That The fellow who has it, uh, actually one of the influencers, Zach Pinnock, he just raves at how the trailer pulls. You know, he builds big, these any level, like custom trucks with it. And it's, uh, or he, he pulls them on the trailer, like two of the any level trucks on the trailer. But anyways, and it pulls like a dream. The last thing I'll note, they do come, you can see on the red one, they do come with the, uh, the jacks, stabilizer jacks. So if you're loading light weight stuff, you don't necessarily need them, but if you are gonna load something fairly heavy and want the rear of the trailer supported, needs to be supported, then you have those jacks. You can jump online, diamondc.com. Obviously, I'm plugging for the website here, but you can jump online and be able to configure and play with you know, what kind of MVC would be right for you tons of different options availability like I was saying a while ago with links and GVWRs um, you can build one there to fit your needs or click on that search dealer inventory button see about finding an MVC that's in stock somewhere around you we'll see you on the road